Hey, welcome back to Evil's Comics. I'm Evil Mike, and this is going to be my new comic book pickups from January 11th, 2023, and it was a huge week for this guy right here. Um, massive stack of books, and I'm actually missing some. Um, but before I get started, please like, comment, subscribe. All those comments, those likes, they really do help this guy right here. I love the interaction. That's why I'm doing this. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it because this is big stack. Um, Boom Studios, we got Grimm, and I think this is issue number seven. Um, I just went with cover A. I had two choices, and I just like that one a little better. Um, Dynamite Comics, we got issue number two of Red Sonia, Hell Sonia. I love Hell Sonia, but I haven't started the series, but I'm picking it up. I'm getting to it. Um, I'm a dope series that I'm into. Image Comics, we got Two Graves, issue number three. I'm loving the series. Um, but it's still fresh. We gotta see where it goes. Um, this is the end of the arc for this series right here, but it's not the end of the series. We're gonna get more, but that is Marvel Comics, Predator, issue five. And man, if that's not a dope cover A right there. Um, and I had actually like four choices or three choices on that one. Alright, so the next... Uh, uh, books are the dark web series or whatever um, I went ahead and picked up the hundredth anniversary of Disney and the 60th anniversary of Marvel it is the you know like the what it what if you know the Disney characters were Avengers but it is amazing spider-man issue number 17 it's just the you know the Disney variant um, now, I do love that cover. It's so dope. I was uh, so excited to get it, but it just felt weird picking that up for a Spider-Man cover, so I went ahead and grabbed Amazing Spider-Man 17, the design variant of the Insidious 6. Huge Sinister 6 fan, so I'm excited for the Insidious 6. Um, another Black Web tie-in, and I love this cover. It might be cover of the week right here, but this is Marvel. Um, Marvel. Yep, Marvel. Issue number two, Mary Jane and Black Cat. And that is fantastic. Look at the little kitty. Alright, right here, another tie Dark Web tie-in, Marvel. Issue number two, Miss Marvel. Um, I just dug this cover. I thought it was pretty cool. And I think that's the end of that tie-in. I think Mary Jane, we have two more. A uh, brand new series that I have no clue on what it is. I went ahead and picked it up anyways. But this Image Comics Black Cloak issue number one. And this is the Peach Momoko variant. That's kind of why I picked it up. We'll find out together, right? Um, a dope series that I haven't heard a lot of people talk about. But this is Top Cow and Image Comics Revolvers issue number three. From my dude John Zerb Platten. Uh, DC Comics, we got Flash 790 with the Minute War. Um, I'm a little behind on Flash, but I'm still picking it up. Flash has been a fantastic read, and if that's not a cover A right there. Um, DC Comics, Batman Incorporated, issue number three. Another cover A, but it was fantastic. And honestly, out of the other two, I think, options I got, I like that one better. <clears throat> a fantastic and probably my favorite Marvel read. This is Daredevil issue number seven. Um, we are right there getting to the war with uh, the fist and what is it? The fist and the hand. Um, for those of y'all that don't know, there's two different style of variants going on with Marvel right now. But we've got the the homage variants. That's Spider-Man, Miles Morales issue number two from Marvel Comics and what a fantastic cover uh, Marvel Comics issue number three of Tiger Division I think I had like four different variant options and I wanted the trading cover but I like that the villain is on the main cover I think that's just I mean, might be a first cover appearance uh, Star Wars we got the Mandalorian issue number seven and this is the first appearance of Grand Moff Gideon um, I'm a big Gideon fan. I thought he was pretty cool. And still alive, too. Uh, Marvel Comics, another homage cover, but this is Ghost Rider, and I think it's, yeah, issue number 10. And I love that cover. That's fantastic. Uh, 
DC Comics, we got Wildcats issue number three, and there were some other cover choices that I kind of liked a little more, but as I looked closer, I fell in love with this one because they're wearing the Harley and Poison Ivy shirt, right? That's dope. Uh, big book on everybody's list. There's a couple of them coming up, but this is DC Comics, Lazarus Planet Alpha, issue number one, and I went with the trading card variant. I haven't seen a lot of people show this off. Um, I was not even aware of it until I got to the shop, but it actually has real trading cards that you can punch out. And they actually display all the events that got us here. We got, you know, World's Finest, Robin, Batman vs. Robin, and the conclusion of all that. Then on the back, you got all the Superman stuff right here. Now, I'm not so familiar with all that, but if you are Superman friendly, you probably know what all this is. I don't, um, but I thought it was pretty cool. A uh, huge book on my list had three stars next to it, but that is DC Comics Black Label Danger Street number two, Tom King. That first issue was so fantastic, man. I hope they keep up with the same thing. I'm so excited for that book. Um, another huge book on a lot of people's list, DC Comics Black Label. This is Batman and the Joker, the Deadly Duo. Um, I had quite a bit of cover options, but man, if that is not fantastic, I love Joker and his old Batman zipper mask. Kind of hope it becomes a thing, but I don't think it will. Um, Wonder Woman 795 cover A, and the only reason I picked it up is because Yara is on cover A. I'm a huge Yara fan. A book that I am not reading, but I'm stacking. Um, I'm going to wait until it finishes. We're almost done. But this is IDW Crashing, issue number five. Um, I was not such a big fan of number one, but I kept picking up anyways, and we'll find out when it gets done. Um, a book that I am excited for. This is a View SQ from Dark Horse Comics. This is Masquerade, issue number four, Kevin Smith. Um, this has been a fantastic series so far. Another big one on everybody's list, Boom Studios, Something is Killing the Children, issue number 28, and I think this is just cover B. I have two options, and I just thought this one was a little cooler. And look, you got Octo on her shoulder. A uh, big one for me, I have not heard anybody else talk about this book, but after the, after the first issue, I was kind of set on this book. But this is Image Comics Gospel, issue number three. Um, Will Morris, he does the whole book, um, but it has been a very interesting read so far. Um, the last issue in the series, uh, this is the Bone Orchard Mythos under Image Comics, the 10,000 Black Feathers issue number five, the finale to this part of the Bone Mythos. Very excited to see what's going to come out of that one. Um, and last but not least, we got Image Comics and Skybound. We got Dark Ride, issue number four. Um, I think I had two variant options on this one, and I thought this one was a little cooler because Halloween kind of got that Madeline Pryor thing going, you know, the whole limbo homage maybe. Um, I thought that was cool. Um, the books that I did not see or have or however you want to put it, um, the Firstborns from Sumerian Comics, issue number two. I was missing that one. The Dead Lucky, issue number five from Image. And for some reason, they didn't have that one. Hexware, issue number two from uh, Image Comics uh, with Tim Seeley. I was excited for that one, and it wasn't there. I don't know. And again, I don't know if these are shipping issues, but this last one, I do know it dropped, and for some reason, my shop did not get it. But that is Specs, issue number three, a big one on my list. Um, I don't know why they weren't there, but sometimes that does happen. So, last but not least... My brother did end up getting something really dope for me. Um, but this is Marvel Essentials X-Men Volume 5. It is a thick, uh, like I guess you can call this a con, you know, commendium. Um, a condominium. Um, yeah, but this includes Uncanny X-Men 180 through 198 and Annual Number 8 and X-Men slash Alpha Flight 1 and 2, the little miniseries. Um, one thing I will say, I've seen Marvel Stenches for a long time. I was not aware that they were black and white inside. I thought that was fantastic, man, getting to see this without the the colors. Uh, and sometimes it's not important, but sometimes it is. You know, you get you get those oh pencil lines and everything. Um, 
I thought this was fantastic. Honestly, I'm a huge X-Men fan, but I got into X-Men in the 90s. I have a lot of knowledge on the Uncanny X-Men, but I have not had the chance to really go back and read a lot of the Uncanny X-Men. Days of Future Past, some of that stuff I have read, but not majority in mass runs. By the time the 90s were going, Uncanny X-Men was not only confusing, because they didn't really explain what the hell was going on, but at the same time, it, it was just expensive to try and go back to X-Men number one or giant size. I mean, it's it's really expensive nowadays. Um, so to get this and be able to like check it out and read it out, and yeah, and, and that is fantastic. All right, people, that's what I got for you. Um, let me know down below what was your favorite, what I picked up. What was the favorite that you picked up? Let me know. Um, were there any that you missed that you didn't get it and you know that weren't at your LCS? Let me know these things. I want to know. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. Um, I will have some of these in reviews. Um, I can, you know, gospel, uh, two graves. But if there's any that I showed that you want me to review, let me know. Probably Black Cloak, um, usually number ones. Um, but hey, that's what I got for you. I'll let y'all go. I hopefully y'all have a great new comic book day, a great Wednesday. We got Thursday coming up next. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bah! Bah!